Crimson is finally back, and in this video, I want to go over all the weapon rules that you should be looking out for. So starting off, I want to take a look at the weapon's origin trait, Cursed Thrall. This is after defeating a target with a melee attack, final blows of this weapon cause targets to explode for a short duration. This origin trait has the potential to be pretty strong. If you know the Necrophasm back from D1, that was all about making Cursed Thrall explosions. So the fact that you can kind of do this with a legendary weapon and you only have to get a melee kill, I think this could be very, very fun. But, all right, let's start off with our first weapon, Fang of Ear Youth. This is going to be a rapid fire frame strand scout rifle. They did end up making it strand, which is going to be pretty cool for strand focused builds. Let's take a look at its perks. So this weapon is going to come with shoot to loot, tunnel vision, killing wind, surplus, rewind rounds, rapid hit, and keep away alongside high ground, opening shot, precision instrument, golden tricorn, sword logic, hatchling, and kill club. Now some of those are new perks like high ground, so you do more damage when you're at a higher elevation than the other enemy. Also precision instrument, so you can get some more precision damage on sustained damage. And also sword logic is the new perk, which is basically like rampage. You get a damage boost when you get kills and the higher tier enemy that you kill, you'll get a higher damage boost. So that's pretty cool. But taking a look at some of these perks for PVE, you have things like shoot to loot in the first column that could potentially be pretty good. Shoot to loot got a bunch of buffs and it's honestly pretty good. Now, rewind rounds, I know some people like, I typically I would like that on a more DPS weapon, not on my primary weapon. Rapid hit, in my opinion, is probably going to be your best perk to take in this first slot just getting that stability increase and that reload speed increase when you're just getting precision hits and you're doing that with a scout rifle anyway i think that could potentially be really really good now in your other column you have things like precision instrument like we talked about that it's not terrible apparently that rapid hit that could be pretty good golden tricorn maybe if you're trying to play into a damage build with it sword logic as well again kind of works like a rampage a little bit uh hatchling is obviously going to be probably the standout perk if since it is a strand weapon you also have kill clip as well so for pve there's nothing super crazy in my opinion things like rapid hit hatchling can be good rapid hit and any damage perk but we already have two strand scout rifles and some other strand primary weapons that we already have is just kind of better than this because like roof of sphere you can get demo and hatchling if you're playing into a hatchling build so i'm not really sure how well this this is going to be used for pve unless the origin trait is going to be really really good but obviously if you want a damage perk and a reload perk rapid hit plus any of these damage perks will work now for pvp this is a rapid fire frame so i know some people will like this but you have things like tunnel vision killing wind surplus keep away rapid hit there are eight ton of good perks for pvp and then the second column you really only have opening shot for a consistent perk but you also have things like kill clip if you want a damage boost and i know some people even like rock and go and try for it as well so for pvp if you just want like a super consistent role you can go like rapid hit opening shot or keep away opening shot and if you want to go for a slaying out role killing wind kill clip killing wind going to tricorn is going to be really good tunnel vision also pair with those potentially be really good but i don't know if people are going to want to run this over some other weapons again this is a rapid fire frame so we'll have to wait and see it could potentially be really strong i'm not really sure about pve but for pvp i think this definitely could have a play and you know hopefully in pve with the origin trait it ends up being a blast now let's move on to sort breaker which is now going to be a lightweight frame strand shotgun the perks on this in the first column are going to be pugilist subsistence elemental capacitor fragile focus threat detector slot shot and dim listeners then the second column you have surrounded golden tricorn sword logic one two punch opening shot barrel constrictor and hatchling so the only real new perk in this column is barrel constrictor so when you get a kill it will reduce the pellet spread of your next shot so obviously that could potentially be pretty good in pvp but for pve on this thing it is a lightweight frame so you do get that plus 20 mobility which is just a nice little bonus so you have things like pugilist which is okay if you're getting your melee damage back but it also gives you a handling buff and since the origin trait is based around melee and i think that could potentially be pretty good to get that handling up so assistance is also not a terrible option if you just don't want to reload the gun threat detector is always pretty good because you're using a shotgun slash shots also not the worst and a demo is okay but it's not going to be the best thing in my opinion surround is obviously really good for a damage boost golden tricorn as well sword logic is probably not the best thing that's typically more of like a primary weapon in my opinion but it is on here if you like that one two punch a great shotgun perk and it also does come with hatchling but i don't really think hatchling on a shotgun is going to be the greatest thing so in my opinion for this i think i would try to play into the origin trace to so take something like one two punch to secure that melee kill could be nice alongside pairing that with pugilist so you get that handling but again threat detector will also be pretty good for that play style since it does increase your handling threat detector and surround it's really good for just overall buffing this shotgun like crazy and a slash shot and subsistence is also nice for never having to reload the gun pairing that with maybe something like just any damage perk like sword logic golden corner surrounded 
you know, that could potentially be pretty good as well. This is really just going to depend on how good shotguns are in the current meta. And right now they're not the craziest thing. So this doesn't like stand out a whole bunch, but I think it does have a little bit of potential with its origin trait with something like Pugilist and one, two punch compared together. So that means you can always get that melee up to always secure a kill and you're always going to get the handling increase. And then you can always just explode people with the shotgun, which sounds pretty cool. And then for PVP, it honestly does have a good amount of perks. Again, this is a lightweight frame. So you are getting that plus 20 mobility, which is extremely nice. It does go in your kinetic slot since it is strange because so that can open up some more opportunities but you have things like elemental capacitor so if you're running an arc you're going to get a crazy amount of handling with the shotgun fragile focus is also not a terrible perk anymore threat detector is also good slash shot again it's also really really good and then the second column you do have things like barrel constrictor but you also have access to opening shot which is one of the best perks in the game for shotguns so you could craft this thing to have some consistency with open shot alongside elemental capacitor giving a bunch of handling if you are running arc on top of that you can also pair this with slash shot opening shot just so you can slide and get that first opening shot for a ton of range threat detector is also a good option i think this does have potential to be a pretty solid pvp shotgun and what most people might actually start running if they they don't have a good shotgun in that slot and again since the origin trait is all about getting melee kills you know if you get a shotgun melee and then get another shotgun kill you can make enemies explode in crucible like a curse the wall so that could be really fun i'm excited for the shotgun a lot more than the scout rifle because i think this actually does have potential to be a very good pvp shotgun on top of also having just a solid pve one depending on the role you put on and next up we have word of Crota. this is still going to be a void hand cannon but it is now going to be turned into a precision frame now i know some people are going to like that and some people are going to hate it and i know that's going to be the deciding factor if you should use this gun or not but starting off with the perks we have subsistence range finder killing wind dragonfly repulsive brace enlightened action and demolitionist alongside focus theory precision instrument frenzy sort logic rampage stabilizing rounds and adrenaline junkie so the only new perk in that column is enlightened action so just dealing damage grants reload speed which is a pretty good perk for pve and on the topic of pve you also have things like subsistence dragonfly is also only repulsive brace is pretty good and you have demolitionist then the second column you have things like precision instrument which could be okay Frenzy, Sword Logic, Rampage. I'm not exactly sure how they're going to stack up together since they both kind of do the same thing. The Stabilizer Rounds is also good for playing into Void Builds and then Adrenaline Junkie. So there are a couple different ways you could craft this. You could go with Subsistence and a Damage Perk just so you could just constantly keep shooting, never having to reload the gun. Things like Dragonfly is also good for Act Clear, pairing that with any Damage Perk. Repulsive Race to Stabilizer Rounds just means you can have an Overshield even if you're not playing Void. And a Demo with any of these other Damage Perks or even the Stabilizer Rounds is also good just to get your grenades back. The problem, like I said, this is is going to be a precision frame weapon so i don't know how many people are going to choose to run this over some other hand cannons that we do have but if you want a nice void hand cannon for a build since the hand cannons did recently get a huge buff i think this one will be pretty good because you have all your perks like pulse break stabilize rounds you have damage perks you have reload perks uh, and you even have ability regen perks i think this does have potential to be strong for that and i imagine pairing like stabilize rounds with the curse throw order trait you're going to be making a ton of explosions now for pvp you have things like range finder killing wind and light action probably isn't a terrible perk demolition is also good even repulse race has a play if you were in something like falcons i know a lot of hunters like to mess around with that and just have an overshield but you also have things like precision instrument i'm not exactly sure how good that is in pvp but then the other column you have things like rampage which i'm pretty sure turns this weapon to a three shot kill maybe sword logic as well on top of that precision instrument or even frenzy could potentially be a play but i'm just not exactly sure so not the greatest perks in terms of consistency for pvp but it does have some of the best precision frame damage perks on it if you do like to run these pvp and kind of slay out but if you're looking for a just super consistent one i don't know if this is one you should run but things like killing Rain and rampage could potentially make this thing a powerhouse in pvp because of all the range you're getting and again the ability to three tap so again kind of like the other two not as much but this seems to have a little bit more potential in pvp than in pve in my opinion but there are some really good pve perks on here so definitely do not be afraid to try some of these out because obviously things like repulse for stabilizing rounds are super unique and can be a ton of fun then next up we have the abyss defiant which is going to be a solar high impact frame auto rifle now high impact frame auto rifles have not really been the meta in the longest time so for pve i I don't know if this is something you're going to run but let's take a look you have pugilist enlightened action heal clip zen moment subsistence outlaw and reconstruction in the first column alongside eye of the storm collective action swashbuckler incandescent kill clip sword logic and target lot so honestly it's a pretty good perk some standouts for pve things like pugilist to get your melee back and light action for reload speed Kill clip could potentially be really good this is a new perk so when you get a kill and reload you will cure you and nearby allies so this could play into solar bills which is very very cool subsistence so you never have to reload or outlaw if you want to reload faster and then reconstruction so again you kind of never really have to reload and it reloads itself over time 
you know in the other column collective action could be pretty good for that damage who's swashbuckler as well incandescent which is a crazy good perk for solar kill clip sword logic and even target locks okay but i would definitely recommend some other perks for pve on that so in my opinion if you want to go with a reload damage perk you can that is always nice but i really think incandescent and hill clip is going to be a crazy combination incandescent is going to play into scorch on your solar subclass while hill clip will play into your healing aspect taking things like ember of benevolence that means you can even buff all your ability regeneration just with reloading your weapon after a kill and i think this has potential to be very very strong the unfortunate side is that this is going to be a high impact frame auto rifle so i don't know how well you're going to use this say over something like callus mini tool but it does have that cool origin trait again so you can make enemies explode with it so having that with incandescent you're going to be blowing everything up and also healing you all the time out of all the weapons so far these definitely are the most intriguing perks for me for pve and it really does boil down to that hill clip incandescent but like i said any ammo based perks persistence outlaw reconstruction with a damage perk is also very very nice swashbuck with pugilist is also a very fun combination that will also pair extreme mail with the origin trait and even things like sword logic collective action i think could also have a play but i am very excited to craft this incandescent hill clip role now for pvp i know some people like high impact frames but you know you have things like in light action hill clip also could be pretty good zen moment and then the other column eye of the storm you know any damage perk that we've kind of already went over collective action i know is pretty good to be pairing that with stasis kill clip and even target lock for more of a consistent perk so if you want pure consistency something like zen moment target lock could be really really good for this auto rifle if you do like high impact frames but even if you want like a slay out roll hill clip kill clip is a pretty fun combination outlaw kill clip could also be pretty good collective action reconstruction if you're trying to play into some fun little gimmicky builds i think all these do have potential to be pretty strong but again in both pve and pvp it is hindered down by the fact that this is a high impact frame weapon and those are definitely not the most meta in any point in the game i really am excited and like i said so far this does have the most potential out of the other weapon rolls in my opinion and we'll just have to wait and see if auto rifles do get a buff at some point i know auto rifles are performing pretty well in the crucible now so you know this could be a play and then with that hill clip incandescent for pve i think this thing could actually slay out but now let's move over to the oversoul edict this is going to be a rapid fire frame arc pulse rifle this weapon archetype is pretty good in pvp but i wouldn't say it's the best in pve but let's take a look at its perks to see if it can amplify that so you have things like enlightened action eye of the storm eddy current perpetual motion demolitionist encore and keep away in the first column alongside movement target swashbuckler high ground adrenaline junkie sword logic bolt shot and head seeker so right off the bat for pve obviously it's an arc weapon and you see volt shot that's going to be really really strong volt shot paired with the origin trait could potentially be really good for ad clear but you also do have damage perks like adrenaline junkie sword logic and swashbuckler and then in the other column we have things like light and action and perpetual motion or even eddy current for some more reload speed i wouldn't recommend eddy current but things like enlightened action could be potentially pretty good for this demolitionist as well to get your grenade back which is also going to be really really good and apparent demo is something like volt shot so you're constantly refilling your grenade you're also procking volt shot on everything alongside the pretty cool origin trait i think this again could potentially have a play in pve now if you want to pair that with literally any other damage perk you could as well like i've said pretty much this entire video a reload speed perk along side a damage perk is always extremely nice but if you want a gun to play more to your subclass demo volt shot is going to be unmatched and there isn't many guns in the game that can actually roll with that perk combination now for pvp this thing does have some pretty good perks eye of the storm is going to be a great dueling perk petrol motions also really really good encore is a good sling perk keep away is a good overall perk and light action is not the worst but i would highly recommend some of these other perks if you are crafting it for pvp and the other column things like move and target is going to be really good and head seeker got a buff and it is one of the best pulse driver perks in the game now and once again you could also take any damage perk to also help out with this but for pure consistency things like keep away head seeker is going to be really good eye of the storm move and target encore head seeker encore move and target there are some crazy combinations with this special motion movement target so just moving around a lot it's gonna buff your gun and i think when people fully craft this i think you're going to be seeing this weapon a lot in pvp i personally would be crafting something like keep away and head seek just for the ultimate consistency role but also eye of the storm moving target eye of the storm is a great perk if you are doing another player and this comes down to another weapon where it seems like it has a little bit more potential in pvp than in pve and it's a raid weapon whereas this season the trials grenade launcher seems to have a little bit more potential in pve than pvp and it's trials weapon so i'm not exactly sure what's going on but this still does have some pretty good pve perks in my opinion but for pvp i think this thing actually is going to be pretty solid but now let's move on to our final weapon the song of irio which is going to be an adaptive frame 
arc machine gun. Obviously, machine guns are pretty strong right now in the game, and I imagine this is going to be just like the rest of them. So in the first column, we have Unrealistic, Freaky Frenzy, Demolition, Zen Moment, Keep Away, Rewind Rounds, and Reconstruction. In the second column, we have Elemental Capacitor, Vault Shot, High Ground, Cascade Point, Sort Logic, Bait and Switch, and Target Lock. So for PvE, machine guns are normally used for act clear. I know some people like to use Thunderlord or Retrofit Escapade, which are very solid options just for pure consistency and ease of use, but they do not compare to pretty much any other thing in the game that you can use for DPS but they are easy to use and if you want a weapon that kind of is like that this does have rewind rounds and reconstruction alongside bait and switch and target lock so both of those are going to be extremely good perk combinations if you do actually want to kind of play into that but i highly recommend if you're using a machine gun for dps try to get a retrofit escapade fourth times charm and target lock because that is going to be your best option but this could potentially be pretty good and help out with that i just would highly recommend crafting this more for ad clear and honestly even with that you're in good hands with this weapon because this thing actually does have some pretty solid perks again it's origin trait so you can blow people up with a machine gun it's pretty cool but you also do have things like reconstruction again so you, it overflows this magazine machine guns already have a very large magazine and then you compare this to something like sort logic so you, every time you get a kill you're going to get a stack and damage bonus and it just makes the act clear very very strong you could also pair that with something like bait and switch but again that's more of a dps perk but if you do get it to proc again that could be really good you know for other options you have things like feeding frenzy volt shot which could be really good unrelenting and any other damage perk just to heal off of it i don't think that is going to be the best thing but it could potentially be pretty good you know, demo again for getting your grenade back if i had to craft this myself for pve i would definitely be going with reconstruction for sure in the first column so i don't have or have to reload the gun if you have a commemoration with reconstruction you know how strong this can be and on top of that things like sort logic is probably going to be my go-to option but even things like cascade point could potentially be really fun because most of the time you're going to swap this after you get a kill and you could just unload the magazine so overall i actually am pretty excited for this weapon for pve i think it is going to just kind of be an arc commemoration that we can craft and i'm definitely not complaining about that because commemoration again is one of the best machine guns in the game for pve but for pvp you also again have things like unrelenting get some health bags in the moment keep weights also pretty good elemental capacitor could also be a pretty strong perk pairing that with whatever subclass you're running to get a bunch of stats cascade point could potentially be pretty fun just to mow down an enemy in pvp and even target lock's not the worst thing but this does have some pretty consistent perks for pvp if you are going to run this i think i would craft keep away and elemental capacitor just to try to boost as many stats up as possible and since this is an adaptive frame it's going to be extremely easy to use again i think this weapon does have a play in pvp just like all the other weapons but this one kind of like the abyss defiant does have some pretty unique roles that i think could potentially be pretty strong in pve as well but that is going to do it for all the roles on the crotons and weapons let me know your favorite one also let me know what you think of the order trait i'm really excited to try some of these out i know of all weapons abyss defiant and song of ear yud are my favorite ones that i'm going to craft really excited for the solo potential with abyss defiant song of ear yud i think it's just, again just going to be another you know commemoration it's just going to be arc so that could potentially be pretty pretty good and pvp i'm excited to test these out a lot as well because all of these do seem to have some pretty good pvp perks anyway so that's going to do it all for me i really hope you all enjoyed if you did be sure to check out the channel i've been trying to post a ton of content with the launch of this season and all of your support is truly appreciated i wish you all the best of luck in getting these weapons that you want and these are going to be craftable so definitely be on the lookout for those red borders but thank you all so much for watching and i hope you all have a great day peace